Good evening, everyone. Hope you're all well. Sorry about that. I was, um, I started the stream and realised I hadn't made myself a cup of tea. And that's always kind of important. Anyway, we will be continuing. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, 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 had, to, I had tea, realised it was sort of lukewarm. And yes. No worry for Joe. Thank you for uh, being here. And also, uh, happy getting food. Hopefully, I'll see you when you come back. But yes, anyway, we're um, continuing our adventures, our confusing adventures into um, Alan Wake 2. And apparently, you resubscribed while I was out of the room. Thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Uh, and we will now swap to the game. Over we go. Here we are. Off we go. Back to getting confused. So last time, as we were exploring this um, uh, abandoned subway station, we um, we got quite far and then we died because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I think it was getting towards the end of the stream and I got was a bit tired. So hopefully I will remember which way I'm going, which I think was... There was a doorway, wasn't there? There's a doorway. Where's the doorway? On the left-hand side, I think. Yeah, maybe there isn't. Maybe I imagined that. Hmm. Let's get my bearings a second. Well, there's an arrow pointing that way, isn't there? I'm sure there was a doorway on this side. Maybe it's a... Hmm. Don't know. Oh. Well, that's where we came from saving. Oh, no, there was a subway. We need to go through the subway train. And, oh, here we go. That's that. It's this doorway. Okay. Oh yes, I remember now. I went into this area and then died very quickly, which wasn't great. The unknown voice was um, the um, local police officer who disappeared earlier in the game in the morgue. We've already spoken to him. Oh yes, I remember now. This took me by surprise, and then I died. That's what I think happened last time. You didn't get me that time though, did you? That dead end, that's just a dead end that had a mysterious uh, floating ghostly figure in it. So we're shooting shadows now. Hello, Duncan. Yes, we are shooting shadows. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, uh, hello, evening. Hope you, hope, hope you had a good weekend. Uh, yeah, so... This game was strange when we played it on Sunday, and then I picked it up on Saturday, and uh, uh, basically at the end of... I think it was the end of the first stream I played on next last Sunday. Alan Wake had been discovered out of the, had been, uh, had appeared, uh, laying on the ground by the river, or by the lake. Um, with no memory, he, he's 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 sort of talking all sorts of nonsense, and he's got been missing for like thirteen years. 
and now we've crossed over and we're now seeing things from hi in his world so this is the mysterious uh world that he has where he has been lurking for the last 13 years and everything keeps oh we found another save point that's always handy finding an extra save point why is he on the tv i don't like that Also, this game makes no s this the plot is currently making very little sense, but there we go. From what we gather from the plot, what it is, is Alan Wake, the writer, at least in this world. So this world is sort of uh, built around his imagination. So he's a writer and um, he keeps changing the world by... Um, by using his imagination as a writer, but it seems that it ble it's bleeding into the real world as well. Um, but beyond that, it's well, you know, it's anyone's guess. Uh, and there's some confusing coincidences between the real world and the world that Alan's in. Uh, he has invented a uh, a detective called Alex Casey, who mysteriously looks like the um, uh, yeah meta -nar narrative umpteen layers deep that only makes sense to the author, and possibly not them. Yeah, it's something like that. Because up here, in, in this world, this guy, uh, who is called Tim Breaker, is investigating the tunnel system. And he's been down here a while because, uh, where is it? There's a doorway here. And through the doorway, he has gathered supplies. And also, he's got himself a little little bedroom and everything and a mug of tea all, all the all the mod cons and a nice metal cage to lock himself away in which seems very sensible down here oh yeah it's incredibly meta this game what's down there cozy metal cage yeah exactly Duncan Oh, hello. What's down? Was he? What? What's? No, uh, just random, tr random lockers that I can unlock. And so, oh, thankfully, some of them actually contain stuff, rather than just sort of creepy sounds coming from down there. I was hoping that was gonna. If there was a new save point down there, I'd assume there was something. It was gonna take us to somewhere new. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, let me have a look. Let me. Can I stand here and take that light away? No, that does actually take us... It takes the whole thing away. We're back to a flooded room down here. Because in this world, basically, there's this sort of uh, lamp contraption that um, Alan's got hold of. And uh, with it, you can steal light, a light source from one place and move it to another place. And in doing so, it sort of shifts the world around. And um, and still, I have a cold that's been going on for weeks at this point. I, fe I felt better. I thought I recovered from the cold. And then it just come back as this tickly cough that won't go away. Super annoying. Apparently, it's a, it's a thing that um, is going around as well, which is always fun. And these are sort of weird, mysterious echoes of the past or something that we can dip into. Boo, Virai, exactly. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. 
I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Okay, good to know. We can listen to them again on the radio. Oh, hello. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. Okay. And you can tell this is a imagined world in the inside the mind, perhaps of Alan Wake, because the graffiti, as we discovered, is covered in references to uh, things that are affecting his psyche. I think because it's like your fault and die and you'll never get out of here and all of like the subway signs have been replaced by stuff you know just stuff that's going to mess with your head you you lost here uh you die here super super friendly you know ah and i i i died I died. Did. So we get to see the um the really creepy, glitching dead Alan Wake. It's like we know we died. We don't need to like be reminded, watching this weird loop of creepiness. But there we go, trapped in a loop. And we're back to that previous save point, thankfully. I will, however, go down here because we haven't saved since this and this package has been discovered let me also have a look and see what we've got here uh some painkillers oh well mm, my health isn't, isn't that bad i don't want to I, I feel like i should um reserve the painkillers until we actually need them properly i will however reload the gun that seems like a good idea right oh and that's what the um the game told me a while ago or last time we were here, which was the whole like. The cult can get you anywhere with that. What Alan and I found would drive the story forward. They'd love to be on this case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap, a satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer. And it doesn't help that the um, Alan R Alan Wake, by all um, uh, uh, apparently also sounds tends to be a terrible writer. He writes incredibly cliched stuff, which is why the world is full of this sort of weird cult stuff going on. <clears throat> and we can like switch back and forth between I was making my way deeper into the, story. the different versions of the story. Murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. Their twisted Bible. But I can't tell, I can't decide what, which, which reality makes more sense for this. It's like, there's that one. Or I can go, so that's the, uh, that's the murder cult. And I, and I was, uh, uh, was was using a story about a um missing FBI agent. 
but it looks like there's a number of points that we have to have a look at. Let's have a look in the goals. It says, search for the cult, find for more signs of cult activity in the tunnels. And these are the tunnels. And there are various locations we need to visit, and it looks like some of them are blocked off. Oh, that's interesting. I think we were over here before. That was the break room that we un we just unlocked recently. And it seems that there are... What I missed is there seems to be stairs or a, a ladder going down the other side of that break room. But I will, however, uh, go and find myself a save point, I think, at this point. Not that way, Leaky. The other way. Turn round. So I am continuing to really, really enjoy this game whilst also being very confused. But I think that's fine. I've also realised that um, I didn't need to come here and to save because I'm literally walking past another, another save point. But, you know, it seems sensible that... Because the chances of me, like, dying on the way to the second save point, even though it's around the corner, are quite high, I think. Uh, and I think it was this way. Yeah, down here again. To the left. Past the lockers we opened some of. Oh, yeah. Past the, um doorway that we got knocked over from. Let's see, I'll have a look around here. To the right, jump up and down and shake the tree. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Like it just like I said, there's a save point. But where? Oh hang on a minute, there's a locker I haven't opened there, that's good not good. Oh, that was handy. No. No, well, I, I could have sworn there was meant to be a... Maybe I'm not where I think I am. Oh, hang on a minute, let me just... Map, Leaky, map. No, I am there, apparently. Oh, that's my location. I mean, I'm in the break room, which apparently is... Okay, so that... I thought I was in the break room. There's literally a cup of tea next to going on there? I'm just confused. Right, here is the break room. Oh, okay. And then behind me, to the left. Ah, there it is. There's literally a ladder. You need help, good luck. Nice. That's, um, always promising. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. Okay. He derailed a train, but we need to change it. I need to find the answer on the plot board. Okay, game. I'll, I'll do what you tell me to do. Another compelling location to use. Cult used fire to claim the dominion over the tunnels. Go on then. The story was affecting the scene. Unfortunately, we've just um, caused the, mold, the murder cult to exist in this area as well, which isn't great, really. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car, an iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Joyful. And I'm going to reload because 
Reloading seems like a sense, a completely sensible idea. Right. I like how this game really likes to scare me by having um, outlines of like uh, humanoid shapes floating around. You know it's deliberate to make it even freakier than it is. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, douse it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. Well, I know that, but I want to have a quick explore around. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to explore and find. Some some things to collect. Right. No, that's locked. It's locked from the other side. But we can now... I feel like I need to go back. I'm going to go over here. I don't think it matters, but it's sort of like, go to the plot board and we can... Torchbearers, the way forward through the tunnel, the bowels of the burnt carcass. We will dance every night in a hula fantasy. Oh, yes. Um, it's been a while since I've heard the lyrics of Agadoo by Black Lace, I seem to remember. subway car had become a burnt husk I could get through it now I know but I want to have a look what's in here see if anything's changed in here I bet it hasn't but okay once more into the creepy breach Oh good, there's um, burnt corpses in here, because of course there are. Hopefully they're staying. Just showing our age, I think. Oh, nice. Nice and cheerful. Cheerful game. Lovely game. Fuck me. Yep, that's kind of what, where, what I was thinking also, Alan. Oh, that's the, um, that's the door that was locked from the other side, I assume. There we go. I mean, it doesn't help us. There's no, like, friendly save point that side, but there we go. Right. Ladder going down. Guess that's where we're going. Oh, that's random. At the old Derek, the wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed, thick, thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady. Powered by the battery, the Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox. All distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Is that ra random passage? Guess we're going down here. It's um, it's weird because I I, I heard that as I was reading that passage and it got to the end of it, uh, my my mind sort of go went to the War of the Worlds a bit. I was like hearing that line and then going bom 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 <laughs> for some reason. Uh, 
Let's, I, I like to read the creepy signs. I understood what I had to do. I knew how to write the ending of to departure. There is light and there is darkness. I think I've read that one before, but I couldn't read the small text. Still can't read the small text. Okay, that's going down. I just want to quickly go go the other way and see if there's just check there's nothing we're missing around here. Because the arrow points this way. There was an there was an arrow. There's definitely an arrow that was pointing. Yeah, there's an arrow pointing that way. Oh, and then it points that way. Points in it points into there, but we can't do anything because there's. Hmm, interesting. It's currently shut. Whatever that is. Oh, good. The creepy voices are talking to me again. Guess we're going down to the deeper platform. Oh good, it's flooded, nice. And there's a light. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. Oh, yep, this is now turning into a puzzle. Damp socks, exactly. I'm just going to have a look while... I know he said there's a dead end, but there's a... Oh, there we go. A save point. That's good. That's what I like to see. I mean, sadly we can't change into these Wellington boots that have been left there. That feels like a good thing to do, really, at this point. Oh, hello. No, nothing in there. Right. That one, that, you see, that seems to, oh, hang on, right, so this is hunted. Now, are they, are they all the same or anything? The name of the station is hunted, because of course it is. So we're trying to go that way, presumably. Uh, let me just take, I'm going to take this light away here. And I'm going to take this light away here. Which, oh, hello. And having done that, I'm suddenly like... Hello. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out where all the So apparently that's the only place I can put a light, but that then gets rid of that then gets rid of one of my options. Hmm. And the only uh, only op uh, only option is here, which then gets us back to where we started. So let me take this away. <coughs> right. Hmm. Looks like there must be. What am I missing? Because of that one, and there's this one. But well, that gate's locked now, which is not helpful. If I take that one away, the gate's still locked.
Okay, what happens if I stand exactly here? Ah, now I'm the other side. That's what I wanted to do. Hunted. They're all called hunted, which is always inviting. Oh, good, a maze. I like a maze. I don't like a maze. Right, take the light from there. No, yeah, that's that light there, so there. Hmm. Okay, so can, can I take this light as well? Help me with anything? Not really. I feel like this is probably one of these. No, that, that, you see, that puts it back. That's put, that's put that one back, but that's, we've already done that. Because that's how we had got over here. So there must be another place I can put, put the um, other light to get past this barrier here. I'm kind of the wrong side of the... What does that light do to that wall on the other side? So I know that takes that away, but that, you know, that doesn't do anything. That it only affects that corridor in there, but... Mm. La 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 la! So we know about that. Oh, maybe we're meant to... No. I was like, maybe we're meant to do it from the other side, but... No, it doesn't work like that. Hmm. I think, I'm also don't think I'm explaining myself, my logic very well. So, taking that light, putting that light there uh, takes away allows us to walk through this barrier because it opens basically the, the, this swaps which which gate is gateway is blocked but i don't know what to do over here unless there's cuz putting whether or not i have that there doesn't because I because part of me was going oh well may I, maybe I'm meant to um hang on a minute that's the C point that's the um that's the um where the flask is so maybe I'm into that now I place that bulb there maybe I can. I don't think so. I think I, I think I am at this point just going round in circles. Oh no, there we go. That's what I was meant to do. That was the reason that I could see the the the, the save point door in the other area because it was meant to be. It was basically telling me, yeah, the save point door is there, so you can get back there. And now this uh, this is opened up here now, so we can now push forward. And I feel like probably we need to take that one away. To lock that door. Now we've got a spare light that we're carrying. Downtown trains, that's all boarded up. Oh, 
Oh, good. There's no burnt corpses in this one. That's always that's always good. I'm pleased there aren't burnt corpses going on in here. Yeah, it's um, it's atmospheric, shall we say? It's also really creepy, but Shrine Street. Stay back from the tracks. Yeah, because that's the that's the thing I worry about. Oh, hello. End of the line. Not ominous at all. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. I'm very... Uh, I, I, I hope I'm not making anyone uh, unwell by me spinning the camera around. But I'm just... It's apparently how I'm playing this tonight. Oh, yeah. Need to go to a plot board. <coughs> uh, so how can we change this? The agent witnessed the cult's depravity and ran. Or torchbearer secrets were not safe from the cult. Or uh, this is where the cult waited for the time to strike. Well, that seems seems like a thing. The hole it changed into the murder cult's hideout. something here that made him run scared whether the summoning ritual has been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark the cultists were close it, now a dark presence back. rising from the depths the cult was messing with things no one should mess with the ritual was a vital part of the story the key to reaching the murder site with a load of um loads of words scratched out so basically the cult are taking the words of Alan Wake and then seeing patterns in them, because that always goes down well. The writer, not of the last, the shadow cast. Third eye, pro project the night. This is your time when you're gone. Writer, the first word, not the last, and the shadow I open. This is your time. Ritual. Friends will meet. Not the writer. The light. The shadow. To write. To lead. Will meet. Uh, standard kind of cult nonsense. Hello, shadowy figure. Wake. I keep forgetting that. The, the game earlier told me that I can avoid the, the, the shadowy creatures by um, keeping my torch turned off. Don't mind me, coming through. Also, I should probably go in here and have a look at the goals. Reach the murder site to complete the ritual in the collapsed tunnel. Ooh. 
presumably the collapsed tunnel was where we were a second ago. More references to Mr. Scratch. New York is always changing. It will change you too. Yeah, we're definitely going around in circles here. Right. Thank you, Arrow, for pointing at... Oh, there are the stairs over there. Didn't see the stairs. Oh, no. The stairs are locked. Presumably... Don't know where I can do anything about the stairs being shut like that. Let's see what other... What other... Changes to the plot we can make. Oh, yeah, the summoning ritual. I, I, I prefer all um, oh goody rituals. These always end well. Exactly, Duncan. Uh, also, I'm like, yeah. It's like, why can't all cults be nice cults? They're a nice cult. lights on in there. Alan Wake. Yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot the I took the light out earlier. Take that, thank you very much. Nothing in there. Oh, what's, the, what's the sign say? It says, "Don't spread the word." Okay, nice. And we still do. We can still do. Um, Upgrades to ourselves that we haven't quite figured out yet. I, I feel like increasing my maximum health by 15% is always a thing that I should do. <coughs> Having more health can, can never be a bad thing, I don't think. Okay, what's going on in here? Homeless people have been sheltering down here. Underground society of 
mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. Typical New York. Work. Hello. You gonna? Don't say that. I don't know what's good. Don't say, don't say shit, 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 and and then nothing happens. It just makes me makes me worried now. Unless it was like pa pa panic about the noise. Or about the, the person I immediately killed because I was prepared. Oop. Oh, hello. Well, there's two of them. Oh, good. No, I need to get away. I need to also need to use my health. No, need to health. You are in my story. Ow, po. <coughs> I really hope I um I I don't have to go back too far. I really hope there's a save point in there somewhere. Or or otherwise I'm gonna be kinda of sad. Uh killed by 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 Dave Gorman. At least based on the on the shirt. Yeah, this is kind of a Dave Gorman kind of shirt, isn't it? <laughs> right. story forward yep cool good good for you uh, oh hello oh you're being I'm being oh good what's happening oh don't don't do that game or well, don't do that controller. I really need to get. I should really get my make a note of my to like replace this USB cable that keeps. loads of them here no I'm big I'm, I'm no I was I was I ran out of health and then I just was like doing the panic I did this when I played the last of us as well it's like the sheer panic of how, how do I how do I get I want health give me health and I got nowhere to hide and that was just that was purely um, down to me being um, a big panicky mess <coughs> Excuse me. Let's 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 try that again, shall we? Again, again, again. First, first things first. Use one of these painkillers to um get my health back up to like a reasonable amount. Reload the old gun. Uh, 
and now head down this way and the thing is some some of them are um aren't real um enemies to to kill and the problem is they're using all my torch light up Oh yeah, and I went in here earlier and got some nice, nice, nice new health or something. Some ammo, that was it. Come on, let me pick that thing up. There we go. Are you going to tell me what I'm meant to do, or am I just going to continue to... Into the light we go. Oh, wait a minute. What happens if I um, take away the... Um, I was like... I've taken... The, if, what if I take the light away from in, while I'm inside? Does that do anything? Apparently not. All that does is uh, get me kind of stuck in here. Because I don't think this door is... No, that door won't let me out either. Okay, worth a go. Okay, game, can you tell me what I'm meant to do, please? I can take that light away. Oh, hello. Did that do something? Oh, we're back here again. There was nothing in there last time, but thankfully this time there's stuff. Do that again. Let's see if not. Yep. <coughs> Sorry. 
Oopsie. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Have a look on the plot board. This plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. Okay. I'm slowly getting my head around this, I think. Oh no, we're back in here again. Mm. Go back, it says. I don't want to go back. I want to. I want to go here and then save, and then I don't have to do that again. That's. Ugh. It's a. It's a nice save point in a toilet. Nice. Cynthia Weaver worked hard following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She was preparing defences and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. Hmm. Probably have a look at the map as well. Okay, I'm down here. There's. Yep, we've done that. There's something at the end on the left. Apparently. Prob presumably, I think it's presumably in here. Let me just do the whole, like, uh, yeah, so it's on the left-hand side. Can I go this way? No, I have to go around the other way. Hmm. Can I get that way? Oh, yes, I can, because there's a, um... doesn't help me because it's further up than I can get to at the moment from the looks of things. But apparently hmm. I don't know. I'm just confused at this point. Well, I was confused. I've been confused at every point. I suppose I should probably try further combinations of the story rather than just assuming I had the right one. I think this locks. Does any of these combinations open the way up that we can get up these stairs? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, stop being creepy. Uh, this is very confusing because we're now like exploring this area, and there's like four different versions of it that we can come a we can come to come and use. Oh, wait a minute, this is open. Oh yeah, that, that's because that's how we. That's obviously how we came in because we had to go through the that maze there. Hmm. 
Oh, good. It's foggy down here as well. Nice. Oh, there's um, anything up here in the little, yep, there's a little hidden container. No, there's nothing there. Marvellous. Hello, creepy figure. I'm like, there's a tunnel, uh, there's a long tunnel. Is there anything in the... Oh. Hello? No, apparently that doesn't exist down there. I was just seeing the arrow here and going... There's an arrow... Pointing down this way, and I was like, oh, well, that means we should go this way. But apparently, if we go that way, the world ceases to exist. But having said that, I just pressed forward, and apparently, apparently that, that, that was a good thing to do. Oh. No, I've turned... I've got to... Okay. So if I follow the arrow and go that way, I get turned round again. Because it's got the world just kind of going... Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm completely confused now. Yeah, that's the, um, that's the nice illuminated bit over there that we now can't get to because I need to, oh, go away, leave me alone. Uh, oh, I'm just lost at this point. I'm just like going round in circles without really understanding what I'm meant to do. Because <coughs> the, um, the, the game is saying... I need to reach the murder site, which I don't know where that is. Complete the ritual in the collapsed tunnel. Oh, wait a minute. There's scenes written down. Oh, there is scene, collapsed tunnel. Ha ah, right. How do I get there then? Back the way I came. Back the way I came. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm with you now. I'm with you now, game. I am meant to go back through the, um... You know, I, I, I backtracked a moment. So I, I, I went this way. So not that way, but I, um, I backtracked and found the, um... Found the, uh, illuminated area. Wherever it was. Oh yeah, it's through the, through the train. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that light source because I feel like I might need that as well. Having free is gonna make this um, maze thing over here a bit easier, probably. So, swap that back. Oh, and we can get straight. Oh, that's that's nice and easy. here, I think. And then round here somewhere. Isn't there a save point round here somewhere? But, mm, I'm not sure, actually. Oh, here's the, uh, here's the derailed train, at least. 
So I think now what we can do is we can go in here and swap this for the summoning ritual, which we didn't have before, maybe. Or maybe not. I was feeling clever then, and I don't think that's right. Like under go, oh, this is new. Going under here is new. Hmm. It end. Although there is some ammo, which is always handy. Oh! Oh, go away! Leave me alone. Annoying cult things. Is that right? Is that right, Alan? I'm going to try all of them now. Oh, hello. Hello? Anyone there? Dead. Definitely a train crash. Like, I'm sure I've tried all the combinations now, have I? Maybe, uh, maybe I haven't. Complete the. Oh, wait a minute, it's the. The scene and plot beat make sense together. Okay, thanks, game. It's getting, it's getting too clever. It's own good, I think. Well, this happened a, a while ago. It got too clever. It's own good. Made sense together, game. Okay. Would be quite nice to be able to save somewhere. Okay, game. What are you trying to say? Complete the ritual in the collapsed tunnel. We are in the collapsed tunnel. No, we're not. No, I am... I am being silly again. Come on, Leaky, read the actual instructions the game is asking you to do instead of like making your own making it up. Right, where are the where's the ladder? Where is the ladder? I know that's the ladder. Oh, okay. Well, it was up, not down, but there we go. Choose your own adventure with Leaky, exactly, yeah. Um, oh, good. Oh, good, good, good. That's not good. That's not good. No, go away. Oh, Poe, I forgot to... Ah! <laughs> that was I would I would nah <laughs> that wasn't right. I 
I needed to go back to the collapsed tunnel. To the actual place it was the game was telling me to go. Um but at least this will put me back somewhere safe. Uh don't know where we are in the game. I don't know where how far it's put me back, but there we go. I am going to take a quick break because uh that guy looks like he could do with a first aid box. Yeah, exactly. Hello, Holly. Uh, you have timed your arrival just in time uh, for me to have a three minute break and make myself a cup of tea and have a stretch. But I'll be back uh, after I get more tea. Uh, bad, bad timing, I know, but you know, you, you, you can talk amongst yourselves. Hello, I'm back. I'm also leaky. <sighs> and folks who don't follow Holly, Holly, Holly very rarely, uh, but very, very occasionally streams on Twitch. Or she has done at some point, popping up randomly at Halloween to do interesting streams so if that sounds something like um something that would appeal to you and you're not already following holly you should probably follow holly are you ever going to stream again having said that holly i also hate how how when i um when i die die how how much oh never okay never again Oh, leave me alone. Wake. Stop whispering my name in a weird way. It's creepy. I know you're meant to be creepy, but... I know that's kind of your point, but even so. say go back but there's also the ability to save here so I want to do that oh yes I've definitely gone back at some point because I swear I had more than two bullets I know I shot lots like just just now but oh hello this is new Ah. Oh. Is this the collapse tunnel? It is the collapse tunnel. Excellent. Well, well, how do I get that side? Oh yeah, through the train? No, I can't get through the train. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a doorway. Go through here. Hmm. 
collapsed tunnel. Here we go. Right. New story beat fit the story perfectly. Summoning ritual. Thank you very much. Ah, there is no longer a train crashed in here. I don't think. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. I think that means run away. Oh. Quick to the save point. Yeah, okay. Nice. I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. Oh good, it's gone. So now, Alan, where are we? Where are we going now? Reach the murder site. Enter the unblocked tunnel. The murder site is oh, okay. It's down there. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. Oh, good. Apparently we're going down this tunnel. I'm going to presume that you're looking at when you're looking round. You don't want me to turn round and fight something because I'm just going to go this way. Oh, okay. Guess guess we're not going back there again then. I'd seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me. The dark presence. Isn't that something you just get for a goth for their birthday? Ah, oh, I'm hilarious. I'm not hilarious. That's terrible. Oh, hello. Oh. We're in these half or half and half. I can see trees. I see trees of green. Red roses too. <sighs> oh good, a creepy heart. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. Oh, it's the same murder. With the naked man again. This is the um the murder that was being investigated in the real world. Oh. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Alice. Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Oh, I can't. I can't hear you. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Calder Lake. Now, now hold your leg. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Oh, we've reached the end of a part.
onward we go then. Uh, and then we've got a new thing, a new, a new thing, a new goal. I can do words. Look for Alice. Get to the apartment in Parliament Tower. So we need to get out of here then, do we? Is there a way forward? Oh no, that that way that, if we go that way but we determined where I could go and where I couldn't. Nope. The writer of the foot oh wait, there's a prompt so I can I, I don't have to like try and read it off the thing. Who's writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last. With the terror of the light and the shadows cast, the third eye now open to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Oh, that's creepy. Creepy, creepy. Oh, and another another echo of a memory coming along. And yeah, stepping to the murder site, I felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act, like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something had soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with meaningless existence a regression to something you had managed to forget marking you taking you for a ride making you crazier oh wonderful that's that sounds like somewhere we can well we'll just keep going seems like a just seems like a terrible idea so what's this game about who are you what are you doing here oh well they're her have you got three hours? Um, so, uh, this wh where we currently are at the moment. This is uh, uh, an other. This is the work. So, so first to to start with, right? The game is called Alan Wake Two. Uh, this is uh, Alan Wake. He is a writer of hackneyed sort of noir, horrible sort of horror novels and things like that that are a bit, a bit weird. Uh, at the end of uh, Alan Wake 1, he went missing, I believe. Uh, and now this game is... Uh, th the second game happens 13 years in the future. Or 13 years from the previous game. I think it's present day. Uh, Alan has been missing in a mysterious... He's been locked in some sort of alternative reality that exists uh, where the writing... His, his writing... The, uh, um, and the stuff he puts in his novels really exists. So all the kind of creepy stuff that he's written, uh, he has to kind of uh, live with in this horrible, creepy world. Back in the real world, uh, back in the real world, um, uh, we have... Uh, uh, FBI agent Alex Casey, who looks off that has exactly the same name as uh, the protagonist in Alan Wake's novels, and that probably means something. Uh, and uh, FBI agent Saga Anderson are investigating uh, a murder, uh, which seems to be related to a cult uh, that have been uh, removing the heart of their victims and stabbing them and c cult things um so yeah yeah he, is he the writer whose transcripts were scattered all around the forest the police woman was searching yeah exactly so the fbi agent was searching and finding transcripts which were, which were describing the things that they had, were doing in real time and that's because they were being left by alan wake the writer and we don't yet really understand 
how reality in this world that Alan Wake is trapped in, how they sort of um, cross over. Um, but certain, but the transcript, we don't know whether Alan Wake is seeing what's happening in the real world and somehow writing that out, or whether the real, real world is being affected by his writing and stuff. Um, but there's also a, like a subplot where uh, in the first game, uh, there's a diner called the Oh Dear Diner, and uh, a, a young lady who works there, who, who, whose name has completely escaped me, uh, uh, what sort of befre- was a big fan of Alan Wake, the writer, and now in the future, in 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 you know thirteen years later, she's still working there, and she um, she bumped into so Saga Anderson was there, and uh, she recognised that if as if somebody was um, uh, somebody that she was familiar with, but. Uh, Saga had never visited the place, so it's sort of weird. Harley asks, is Alan Wake a good writer, or has he created a world of tropes and badly written female characters? Uh, he is... Uh, he is a... Um, is a writer that sells really well, but it's quite evident from this reality that he's living in that his world is full of tropes and cliches and... Uh, and uh, yeah, just just bad, badly written in general, I think. So I hope that kind of explains some of it. It's very confusing. Aha, Parliament Tower Plaza. And and uh, in this, and you can tell that this is. I was closer now. I'll let, him, let him speak, but um, you can tell that this isn't the real world because all the signage has stuff like that on it. I've always had a vivid imagination, one, but this dream unsettled me, two, it was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards, three. So yeah, it began with a dream. And uh, outside, the entire world was coated in graffiti that was sort of telling Alan to... You know, that he was probably going to die and stuff like that. Aha. And we have this um, weird lamp that has the ability to steal light from places. The Dark Place, opening soon. A photography and videography e exhibition by Alice Wake. And... Uh, Alan Wake has a wife called Alice who has gone missing. Um, I think. I can't remember. It's, it, it's been like years since I played the first game. Uh, and I can't remember what happened. Parliament Tower. Our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Looks like I can hear the phone ring. Definitely a phone ring. The chances of this big opener. Oh, no, it is open. Beautiful entranceway, presumably based around the real location in New York, one would presume. I can still hear a phone ringing. Oh, good. 
a lift has just opened by itself. Guess we're going in here. I have no idea where we're going. This is going to be up to his apartment, except he's not in reality, so... Oh good. Haunting. Initiation free. Oh good. Alice's photo equipment. Set to go off when the door opens. That is a lot of light fittings. A lot of flash bulbs. Pick photos for exhibition poster. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Who is he stalking her? Scratch. Oh yeah, this is the character Mr. Scratch that he keeps talking about. But I mean, the the fact that it looks quite like him. Why is it so dark in here? Why is everywhere always so dark? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Yeah, if you want to know um, how uh, well off Alan Wake is, uh, this is the size of his apartment in New York, New York City. And if you've ever seen videos on YouTube where people Alice's video camera. give people um, tours of that. absolutely tiny uh, rental apartments in New York, like literally, sh like literally, there's enough room to, to to lay down in and nothing else, and it's like two thousand dollars a month or something silly. <laughs> video art doc see screens. Oh yeah, she she did a um. She did um, photography and videography exhibits. Like um, she's and in this reality, she's doing a focal point of the dark place. So this is all like because we're we're not. This isn't reality. This is like Alan's weird version of it. Part one. Oh, and here's the memory card. Alice's memory card. Which we can now insert into the camera. Where was the camera? It was the camera was over here. Memory card. thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. Yes, real, real person. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then... side of him one I didn't like I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington I didn't tell him until we got there we 
argued. Things went wrong. Penny was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. Easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do too sometimes. Years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. I like the, um, the lamp behind her. Flash. Nice, nice detail. Oh, clever. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. Alice. Definitely looks like him. Little flickers of um Right then game, what are we doing next? Look for Alice. The door was locked. Well, apparently the answers are in here. Because we can't... Um oh, yeah, the... um. Go back to um what you were saying earlier, Holly. His wife is a real human, yes. Um, That, that existed in... The, that, that we met in the first game. Oh, well, that's the projector up there. Um, and also in, uh, if you saw on the posters on the wall, there was something about Mr. Dawes and Mr. Dawes has a chat show in this reality and Alan was, um, in the, in our last, uh, stream, Alan was seen as a real person, uh, appearing, um, in this chat show being very confused by the, um, interviewer. Definitely looks like Alan Wake. Doesn't know how, how, how much you put him in sil silhouette. Oh, hello. I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story. Initiation. To project myself through the dark place. To look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, loop me back. I was writing this story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Uh 
Uh-oh. What the hell was that about? <laughs> he walks into the room, into the writer's room, and sees himself dead. Okay, that's weird. Let's continue. I don't know how much further we're going to get now. Oh, swirly stuff going on. I think we're coming back out of the rea uh, uh, back out to reality again. Hopefully. Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes. I don't think they believe him. Coming in contact with the dark place can I wouldn't reality. believe him. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time... It, this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker... I can send him back to the dark place, make all the shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. He's not wrong. <laughs> I find that weird. They keep drinking the coffee exactly at the same time. They've done that. This is Mr. the third Reed. time they've done that. Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger.
Okay. Insane. And there's so much of it. Wake has more information. I need to keep questioning him. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks. Performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? Cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Not the map, Leaky. I want the... And then, uh, just to confuse matters... Uh, if you didn't see, the reason that she's changing, changed into different clothes is because this is inside her own mind. And this is like her mind place, like a mind palace. Where she's able to look at the evidence and, uh, and make her mind up about what's going on. So these are bits of bits of evidence of um, that she's found in the real world, and she places them on the board to kind of make try and understand what's going on. And then when she goes to profiling, she can find out. She can sort of make make guesses and uh, infer based on the knowledge she has. And then, but somehow she she seems to know more than the evidence is providing. Like, like there's some sort of mysterious influence on her thinking. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe. The dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Okay, Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them.
Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex. And the art, the math, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality. A blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Do, do, do we mention the whole, like, he's a terrible writer thing? The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga's story via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Of course you can. Because that makes perfect sense. Feel free to choose to play in what order, whatever order you choose. Okay. So I can at least save at this point. And I can switch reality. So through there, I can go into Alan's world or we can continue in reality. Well, I feel like we haven't been in reality for a while. So I feel like. We they should stay here place. for a bit. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them up. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. That has to be the weirdest switch in the history of video games. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. What the, um... The the spill the spilled blood trail in the janitor's closet, yes. Completely completely sensible. Right, can we go now? Hello, person behind the bar. Oh, dancing person. Random people in the hotel. Oh, and there's these two Finnish guys that seem to live in the Pacific Northwest and run all the businesses. Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express. They they have a um a, a th apparently they have a theme park called Coffee World, which I hope we get to see at some point because that would be weird. Sounds like Ian's idea of fun. Yeah, I think so. Seriously, it's not amusing. Take in amazing news from the slow road through Ferris wheel. I can almost 
to the Water and Log House trailer park. This is so much fun. I feel like one of the brothers, I think they're brothers, one of the brothers is more more into doing the ads than the other one. Okay, that, that, yep. Well, that sounds completely weird, and, but somehow normal for this world. Hello, Flossie. Hey, pal, sorry I'm late, but it's great to see. Well, you know, I'm glad you're here. Um, let me just give a shout out to Flossie. I'm sure you all follow Flossie by now, uh, but if you uh, if if you enjoy uh, watching watching a wonderful person make art whilst playing with their amazing dog uh, Whiskey, then you should definitely check out Flossie if you're not already following them. Right. You have missed so so much weirdness, but we're we're back in um, Bright Falls now, and I probably need to see what we're meant to be doing. Drive to Watery, okay. So we need the car, but I'm like, oh, hang on a minute. There was, I'm sure this roadworks wasn't here earlier. Sorry. Hello, random people. I'm just going to stand here. You didn't forget to pack the EMF reader, did you? Why would I pack your vehicle? Ooh. I've got my own to worry about. Interesting, they're um, like ghost hunters or something because they were um, to that EMF gear. Uh, apparently, there's a. It, I need something to cut this. Yeah, there's a padlock. So, apparently, at some point in the game, we're going to be able to go that way, maybe. Or maybe it's just teasing us that we um we don't have a padlock key for that padlock. Although FBI really need like some sort of tool for just generally like snipping a thing. Or a crowbar. All games have crowbars. I don't know why this game doesn't have a crowbar. And they're, uh, and they're get, by the way, they're getting ready for um, Deer Fest, which seems to be like a local um, tradition. When we visited this area last time, there were a couple of people handing out free samples of coffee while dressed as thermos flasks. That's the sort of weirdness of this game. I'm just going to go into the diner. Uh, say hello to this. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. I recommend a slice of pie with some coffee. You're not the person that was here earlier. Good day. Mm. So, I'm thinking of pre-gaming at my place before Deer Fest. Drinks, snacks, some charades maybe. Interested? In everything but the charade. Mm. What's wrong with charade? I'm just seeing whether the, is the jukebox still broken? The jukebox is still broken. That's a shame. Right, we should probably get back in the car and continue on what the what the game is. Because I'd, I'd be very good at getting distracted in this game. I, 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 our streams would have been like half the length if I actually followed the instructions of what the game was telling me to do. I am just going to have Clay's Clam House. Weekend seafood buffet, apparently. Hey there. Setter is better. Setter for mayor. Setter is better. I'd just be trying to talk to all the randos. Yeah, they don't... They don't um, allow us to interact with them. I think it's because the game really wants us to just go and get on with things. 
I have a feeling if I go this way, it will turn me round. Maybe. But I'm kind of like, uh, no, the game is now going to... things to do. And this is not the right way. Yep. It's like you can't go that way because um, we don't know what... We, we haven't invented what happens past that area, I think. But there we go. Definitely a tourist spot. There's people, well, there's people setting up the marquees for Deer Fest, but there's also tourists in town taking lots of photos with their phone cameras. Uh, but this is the town of Bright Falls, and in uh, the original game, Alan Wake 1, well, it was just called Alan Wake, um, Alan uh, has writer's block, uh, and him and his wife come to a come to stay at a um like a little a little um house by the lake and they arrive by the ferry and they dock over there uh so look duncan says there's an important plot happening over there nothing happening over there exactly game should allow that play, play sherlock chapter one and kept trying to ride on a boat and get an ice cream but the game insisted i do serious detecting yeah, I do quite like it when it, when they allow you to push a bit further. But I mean, there was like a few few little convers a few little people eating random bits of food and stuff over there um, that we wouldn't have seen if we um, and we wouldn't have been um, greeted by the waitress in the oh dear diner if we had just gone straight straight over to Watery. But I don't know what Watery is. I'm assuming it's a place that's watery. Not sure how long I'm going to go tonight. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. Yeah, we, we, we can write for sure. Quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. And the other thing I should probably point out, uh, Remedy Entertainment, who created the, who the created this game, are Finnish, yeah, which is why there's so many references to Finland. I should ask around. Local girl. Like the name of the hall up there. Uh, I believe that's the Finnish word for Finland. If I'm um, not mistaken, I could be mistaken. And um, singing at the um, at, on the stage is Artie. Catchy tune. Artie there is the Finnish um, janitor of the hotel, who also showed up in another game by the same developer. A rose is there, rose. Roses from the diner. Of course, he's Finnish, f f uh, singing in Finnish. I mean, he's Finnish, but you know, he's, it, this game is set in the Pacific Northwest. I mean, at least the um, subtitles translate for us. I feel like I should be probably um, paying attention to the lyrics because they probably mean something. What's happening on the board here? 
Uh, names on the plate. These are proof. Uh, I'm assuming these are donors to this location. Uh, is this Watery's own Nessie? An anonymous source sent this photograph to our editors, claiming it was captured during the last full moon. A majestic beast hidden in the depths of the water or an elaborate plant prank. A sea creature that defies the very laws of nature or a submarine relic from the Cold War era. A lonely warrender searching for a companionship or compassion or a fearsome monster out, of out for blood. These questions, among others, haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls Record after one of our avid readers sent in his mysterious photograph as evidence for an, un 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 uh, an unidentified creature roaming Watery's waters and making a rare but opportune appearance. This titillating spotting must might just be the event of the year. As we dive deeper into this mystery, we here at the Bright Falls Record invite all our readers to a naming competition. What should we, our local beast, be called? Watery Wonder, Shelley the Sea Monster. Send in your suggestions now. More updates and revelations to follow as the story unfolds. And over here, oh, we've got an advert for Coffee World. Apparently, Watery is home of Coffee World, that we saw the advert on the TV in the hotel. Welcome to Coffee World. One of a kind amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all our readers know Ilmo Koskela, who, help, with help of his brother, Jacko, which is probably not how... Jacko, Jacko, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has a, its grand opening just around the corner. I had a chance to speak to Ilmo about a few questions about Coffee World. Ilmo, what is Coffee World about? I'm glad you ask. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park of all ages. And right here in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the rides, thrills and excitement you can ask for. And of course, lots of delicious fresh coffee. Both hot, both hot and iced. Put that in. Hmm, so how did this unique business idea come about? Well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you should say. But what's even more important to me is that, in, that my many successful businesses in our hometown. With my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process too. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for out-of-towners. So which attraction should the visitors be sure not to miss? Oh, it's like having to choose a favourite child. It's impossible, but the slow roaster is of course a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic, and the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You'll never know what treasures you might find. Uh, coffee at least, I bet. Yep. This place is weird. What's up here? Tom Poet, a film by Thomas J. Zane. A pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness. Ooh, starring Thomas J. Zane as a diver. Barbara Jagger as the Dark Presence, Cynthia Weaver as the Lady of the Light, Emil Hartman as the Assistant, written and directed by Thomas Zane, based on a novel by Alan Wake. Ah, oh, there we go. The Dark Doppelganger in the life, art and life of Thomas Zane. Guest lecture by the President of the Bright Falls Film Society, Thomas Emerson. Discovering, discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist commune in Bright Falls, his lost work, Tom the Poet, his di mysterious disappointment, dis disappointment disappearance in the 1970s, playing his own dark double in his films, the poet, the writer, the diver, Thomas the Rhymer. Is the diver called Dave? Now that's the question.
Oh, there's a door here. I want to go through this doorway. Oh, good. It's a save point. I feel like I need a save point. Oh, that's weird. We can hear the... Oh, hang on. We got, we got to stroke the deer because we always... We all, I don't, I don't know why. I don't, every time we come across a deer mounted on the wall, we just feel the need to stroke him. Yeah, we don't want to switch around. I think, yeah, there he is. There's, there's the band. Artie and the janitors. Whatever that's about. Anyway, enough of um, the um, random Finnish guy singing in Finnish. Ooh. A map of the area, thank you very much. We can do with a map of Watery. There are a lot of names that are not North American in this town. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, <laughs> Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know, Koskel owns it. Of course he does. He owns everything. In town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Okay. We should probably look at that map. Oh, there's the bridge, probably. So the bridge is out. Oh, that's annoying. The bridge is out. Oh, we have to go the long way. It looks like we have, we have to go the long way around to get to Coffee World. That's annoying. I was hoping to go to Coffee World this week, but I, I suspect I'm going to have to go go home. End the stream before we get to go and see Coffee World. But um, let's see, there's a sauna. You see, see what I mean? There's a whole finish influence here oh, what's this say a trailer park Ilmo Koskela mom's family was from Sweden I've always imagined it kind of like this saunas lakes seems nice enjoying the sauna you bet the steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. Don't you dare end the stream before we get to Coffee World. Well, I'll see how we get to. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monster. I can't make any promises, Floss. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up. How am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. Poor Norman. I maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Did you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Hey, Sarah. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a giant. You can also say silence is golden. I'm just going to rummage through their drawers for items that I might find useful of later. I know how these video games work. Oof. Hot. Just looking for clues in the sauna.
I mean, my glasses would steam up for starters. So much like they would, you would do in Finland, you would um, spend some time in the sauna or the sauna, and then you probably um, come out and have a have a paddle in the lake afterwards. I know um, when it's uh, when it's snowing in Finland, they also have uh, a bit of a thing, which apparently is good for the circulation, and it just seems like I don't think I'd like the idea where you spend like half an hour in the sauna and then uh, you go outside and you roll around in the snow naked uh, and then you go back in the sauna again. Uh, it's apparently a big thing over there. Hey, Saga, over here. Yeah, hello, what, what's wrong with, the, what's happened to hey, the bridge? Yoda. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the web page. You give it. You give it a go. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. Huh. Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the other mystery where all, basically everyone. Uh, yeah, lots of people in the in the town recognize Saga, but she's never been here before. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. <laughs> it's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Hmm. Is the horror story messing with their memories? So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Oh no, what happened to the moose? Plus, uh, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deer Fest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're setting the big reveal for Deer Fest. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Right, can I squeeze through? Because clearly there's something, uh, clearly I want to see so something. Your commercials. Yeah. They're more than commercial saga. They're pieces of art. To both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. Yeah, but, but they're really and, wooden. Uh, Yako here really comes alive. He really doesn't. Camera. Really. Fuck off. <laughs> exactly. We're just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Yeah, it seems. It, yeah. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. Yeah. I should make sure I've gotten everything out of profiling. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Into the alternative reality that's inside your mind. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, worst mug, Mom. That's, like, that's, that's up there for a mug as, um, with world's okayest dad. Uh, here are the brothers. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I 
lived here. Does he really believe that? Life's laughter of love will guide you home. Sogheim's her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe. Sorry. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Yeah, just not weird at all. The fact that she has no under she has no memory of um of ever living there. Trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Yeah, that's makes sense. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Is that a ride in the background? Yeah, I, have a spare set. I can see something spinning in the background. I get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded, but if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Yeah, I knew that was that was. Call the gift shop so they can. That's. Get I knew that was going to happen yeah. because you were blocking the way. Also, I overhear your conversation. But I suspect you're going to speak Finnish, probably. Nothing? What am I paying them for? Because <laughs> they're busy. I mean, but, well, Hiking trail. Finally pick up. We really need to get over There's Coffee the World. That, uh, need to get across the river. Oh, good. It's flooded. You say, oh, apparently that's Coffee World in there. We're getting close to Coffee World, Flossie. Anything in there? No, there's nothing in there. Okay. Definitely sounds like an exciting theme park. Despite the um, oh, both over and under enthusiastic um, advertising. Oh, good. We can't go that way. We have to go through the creepy bit. Why? I was. I want to go to Coffee World. I don't want to hear weird, creepy sounds. Fuck. What was that? Oh. Uh oh. That was a blur of something going that way. Oh, there's something. There's somebody up there, throwing throwing axes at us. Hello. That's always good. I'm all for axe flowing, throwing, but um, not when they're aimed at me, really. Coffee world security, maybe. We're trying to get to Coffee World, and there they are. Um, wow, she really knows how to take the an entire axe to the side. Yeah, evidently. Let's take some yummy painkillers. Oh, good. We have to cre we have to go even more into the creepy wood to to get to Coffee World, presumably. 
Which way to Coffee World? Up here, I assume. And why has it gone foggy? Why can't it why can't it be like nice and friendly? Hunting shack. Ah, there's a generator, which means if we kick the generator. Oh no, press the wrong button. Let's do that again and click. Come on, Saga. No, I missed. Oh, I hate these little games. Oh, the stress. There we go. The reason I wanted to power that up is because this is somewhere we can then save the game. Well, I'm going to save... Uh Override that one. There we go. This isn't getting us any more, more, more towards Coffee World, though. Leaving supplies around for themselves. Okay, what does this one say? I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Hey, if you take the crossbow, put it back in the stash when you're done. And then we're looking for a code, a free digit code. Okay, cool. I feel like we're getting further away from Coffee World. Oh, there's a lighthouse up there. One, two, three. I mean, I can try one, two, three, but I don't know. I, I doubt it will help us. Oh, hello. Hello, though. We have targets. Uh, and I'm going to guess... Two, three, seven. Because there is darts on number two. There are darts in number five, and there are darts on number seven. So I'm going to go two, five, seven. That seems like a thing that we should do. Two, five, seven. But apparently not. No, that's annoying. Or is it the number of darts? Uh, two. One. Three. Which is very close to one, two, three, I realise, but there we go. Uh, two. One. Three. What does the note say? The note says, um, hey, if you take uh, the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. I changed the code as asked. <laughs> so I'm like, what does it mean? Because it's like, there's, there, there's, there's several numbers around and they have um, darts in them. Flossie's going one, two, three. Let's have a look. I'm, uh, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go with Flossie's idea. Uh, Flossie slash Holly original idea. I think one, two, three. No, it's not. But on the right, we have we have a number two with uh, two darts in. We have number two here, we have a number three, and we have a number five with one dart in, and we have number seven with three darts in. And I don't know whether that makes... And we got a number one here that hasn't got anything to do with it. The numbers are two, two, three, five, seven, and one.
Oh, is it? Ah, ah, yes, yes. Five. Two. For, uh, for five, two, three. Or five, two, seven. Because of the order. Of, it's the number of... Five, two, seven. Ah, there we go, Holly. And simultaneously, Duncan. Yeah, ordered by the number of darts. Very clever. That makes a lot of sense. There we go. Thank you, Holly. Uh, if you aren't wearing the if you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. Yeah, I'm still going to take it though. <coughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm going to use a crossbow. And uh, luckily, because it's a video game, I'm assuming I can then. There we go. Oh, she does actually hang it on her back instead of putting it into some mysterious inventory. That was very clever. Thank you very much, folks, for your deduction skills. Right. Onwards. We should probably look at the map, because we have a map. We're up here, okay. Ah, useful. I'm glad it told us that, because apparently... Oh, yes, that makes sense. Now we've um, used, the, the, used the crossbow bolts to... Um, to solve the puzzle, we don't need the, we don't need them stuck in the in the in the numbers anymore. So we can do that. And now we've got crossbow bolts to put in the crossbow. Nice. And because I don't want to have to remember to do that again, I'm going to do a quick save, and then that means the crossbow bolts will rem remain. Um, right. So let's equip the crossbow. And, okay, it holds one bolt at a time, that makes sense. Equip the gun for now. And let's see how we get to Coffee World, right around here and then to the left. Into the forest that gets even darker. Wonderful. Oh, hello. How rude. I realised as I was being attacked that I probably could have used the crossbow. But, you know, there we go. At least this way seems to be getting in the direction of Coffee World. But via, via the creepiest forest ever, well, a bit more creepy... Somehow creepier than the other forest we were stuck in. Oh, I can hear water. Definitely a waterfall over there. Now let's take me to Coffee World game. I can hear the sound of Coffee World. Oh, we're getting there. Well, I will now have to check out this. What's going on up here? Ah. Some piles of rocks, which means there's something we have supplies. Oh, a campsite. Uh, it's got, a, got a, a lot to live up to at this point. Yeah, it's never going to live up to the um, the weird advertising, though, is it? Another Alex Casey lunchbox? 
Oh yeah, we're finding lunch boxes as well. Hi Hero, I think a few pieces of paper from my private fan fiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Little campsite in the wood. Oh, what was that? No, that was the opened um, container. Right. Uh, Ranger's cabin that way. Through the creepy. It's flooded again. Oh, okay, that's, that's what it says. Flooded that way. So, oh, wait a minute. So if we go that way... We will come to, first of all, that's definitely theme park related. Oh, I can see a big old Ferris wheel. We're getting nearer to Coffee World. I can hear music. I mean, I quite like lights as well at this point. Coffee World. Oh, good. It's it's Coffee World in the dark. Best in town. Hot dogs and cold drinks. Enjoy. There's balloons. And portable toilets. It's a classy place if there's portable toilets. Hmm. Lovely. Hopefully in here if there's a there'll be a place to save. Yes, there is. First, we're going to have a look in here. Can I can I use the loo? I don't think so. Ah, but there are some manuscript pages. Scratch on the hunt. We'll have a look at that later. Because we want to explore the theme park. Oh wow, look at that. No. Please 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 tell me the gift shop is this giant coffee pot. Fresh pot gift shop open ten AM. I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. How can you go past the portaloo and not check out if you can use it? Alright, I'll go back and, and, and I'll go back to the portaloo. Just to make Holly happy. Since 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 you um Helped me get the um, or you are the reason that I um got access to a crossbow. No, that's as far as I can get. I can basically just look at it and shine my torch in there and go, that's a toilet. But apparently we can't use it. Again with the missed opportunities there, the game just decided that we don't want to use toilets in a game. Watery Coffee World, where the fun is percolating. Locked. Yeah. Need something to jimmy it open with. Who's this Jimmy? A list of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh. Oh, a screwdriver, that's good. Screwdriver's good. Logged maintenance. 27th of June 2023, Coffee World entrance sign defaced. Clean with detergent, wax sign, should be good until somebody tags it again tomorrow, Victor. 5th of July 2023, slow roaster pod is stuck, won't swing. I hit it with some double WD-40, seems good for now. Yeah, cool. Oh yeah, Duke Nukem was famous for having unnecessary levels of interactivity. But there was just... You, you just picked up a screw... Did I not pick up the screwdriver? I'm confused. The game just said, I've got a screwdriver. Oh. Oh, it's disappeared. So that... The, it's, it's just a note telling me that the existence of a screwdriver not actually 
where the screwdriver is, which is, you know, always helpful. It's the slow roaster. Apparently it's fun. Nothing like a slow roast. Oh, another locked box. Only striped cups, it says. Ah, we the cups will be on the Ferris wheel because there are cups. And some of them will be striped, apparently. That's so that's striped. Four. Can I get in one of the pods? It doesn't look like it. Four, seven. Four, seven. Creek, creek, creek. Four and seven, and that one is one. So one, four, seven, I'm going to go with. Wherever the... Oh, there it is. No, we haven't been there. Uh, one, four, seven. Where's that? I've got, I've got myself turned around. Oh, was it this one? It was this one. One, four, seven. Yay! Why not 471? Uh, I assumed it was because it was uh, starting at 1. It was... At, at, I don't know, it was... They're numbered... I was just going in numerical order. Do not take what is not yours. Well, you know. Even more loos that we can't use. Ominous red light over there. I don't know what that is over there, but... Mm. Oh, there's a note here. We're sorry, this toilet is temporarily out of order. What the fuck? All toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we still haven't got the combination for that. But I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go back into the shack and quick save there, and I'm going to end it there because I've been streaming for a lot longer than I thought I was going to. I've nearly been streaming for three hours again. Uh, so I think I'm going to... We've, we've discovered Coffee World. We haven't had a, a proper explore. Um... Thank you, says Flossy. I had fun. That is good. I'm glad you had fun. Thank you all very much for joining me. Thank you, Joe, for the resub. Uh, appreciate all of you dropping by. Uh, Holly for solving that puzzle. Uh, Duncan, Flossy, of course. Uh, and Joe and everyone else who was here. Thank you all very much for joining me. I'm going to uh, end now. Uh